Hello everyone, this is Anura Gray from PestRemovalWarrior.com and today I will be answering another question that is how house flies spread diseases. Now house flies can spread diseases in many ways. They can sit over rotten food, they can sit over dirty places and anywhere else and then can get that onto your food and then can spread the diseases. If there are house flies near your house, near your food, you should be very careful because they can be very dangerous for you and for your kids and for your family members. So for that reason you should know some ways that can also remove the house flies. Along with that you should need to know how they actually spread the diseases so that you can be aware and make yourself prepared beforehand because so that the house flies can be cannot spread the diseases to you. Before we continue with the video, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and click on the notification bell so that you can receive updates about my video where it is uploaded and also help my channel grow. Now house flies can spread diseases like I mentioned before from all of the flies sitting on the dirty places and how they consume the food is how they actually uh, spread the diseases. They actually like the way they actually sit on the places and they, they use their mouth part to actually uh, suck the food, they actually taste the food and then once they come towards your food, their leg hair follicles, their body hair follicles and every and then their mouth gets that uh, dirty food within them this dirty food are actually stuck within the particles so dirty food actually stuck within them and then when they sit on your food those things get spreaded along with that some of the they since they use their mouth as a part of the consuming process they actually when they start consuming the food from your uh, from your food uh, then because of the previously they have seated on a dirty place on some place that you don't obviously don't want to think about they, they, they releases that bacteria that those diseases those viruses into the into your food and that's how they actually spread the diseases they can spread uh, many many diseases some of them are typhoid fever some of them are cholera and other dangerous diseases that can be very hard to treat and also can create severe problems and even death so you need to make sure that you uh, are very aware very careful when there are house uh, house flies around your near your house and if there are too much infestation of house flies then you should always keep your foods covered because you know don't know uh, when these house flies will sit on the food and they can spread the diseases now if you have uh, fresh fruits in your house like fruits or vegetables in your house you also need to make them covered because house flies can also infect them so you need to make sure also uh, you need to also cover them properly if you have sweets you also need to cover the sweets if you have any other food you need to all cover all of them properly so that the house fly cannot actually enter there. Now there are many half fly traps that you can use out there that can work really well to get rid of them and I am going to put some of them in the description below so that you can check them. I, you can obviously check them and they, they are really they are really great traps that you can use to stop the fly from entering your house and also get rid of them if they have entered your house. They work really well and you can find it really helpful if you have house in, fly house fly infestation in your house. Now this house does the first basic process is to cover your food. Second basic process of course is to fly trap. There are various kind of fly traps that you can hang around. Some of them are really cheap. Uh, some of them are quite expensive but all of them would work really well. Now you can use that and along with the third thing is you need to find out the reason behind the infestation. There can be many reasons. If you have uh, some uh, dirty uh, in garbage, if the garbages are not clean around your house, if there are too many dirty places, if there are stored water, if there are a dirty water a stored dirty water around your house then eventually the flies will come there and they will uh, get inside your house if, if you want to test this out you can obviously check out if you are in a dirty place that if there are too many dirts in a certain place you will see the flies are flying over there and even if your place is a little bit far away from the dirty place you will see some of the flies are actually coming into that place so you need to make sure how the flies are actually coming to your house if there is too much infestation of flies and then once you find identify the reason you need to obviously get rid of them so that uh, the, the dirt, get rid of the dirt and everything so that the flies can doesn't enter your house. Now, by certain times it can be a very difficult job, but you need to make sure that this happens because if you are not making, take caring of the basic thing from where the infestation is starting, this can become very problematic. No matter how many high traps you use, how many times you cover your food, the flies won't stop coming and that can become a serious mess and you obviously don't want that to happen because these flies are very dangerous even though they are very small in very small pests and you obviously most people ignore them but of course the uh, it can they can become very dangerous the fourth thing that you can do is if the flies sit on a certain food or uh, maybe on your uh, feeds on your fruits vegetables you can just for vegetables you can just throw that vegetable away or for fruits you can at least cut the pieces uh, from where the flies are seated and obviously if you're on your food uh, the flies are sitting obviously throw that away because you don't want to consume that food 
uh, even if it sits just for a few seconds. So don't underestimate the flies, they can actually spread disease in a very rapid way and if there is too much infestation then definitely it can be a sign of serious problem and you need to stop that immediately. So that's it for this video. If you really like this video, don't forget to click on the like, comment and subscribe button and upload two videos every single week that is on Monday and Friday. So don't forget to click on the subscribe button and click on the notification bell so that you can receive updates about my video when it is uploaded. Thank you.